Ever wondered why money seems to have a one-way ticket out of your wallet? Welcome to the club. It's a common conundrum that has us scratching our heads in confusion. But don't worry, we've got the perfect remedy for your monetary maladies. In this labyrinth we call life, personal finance is the compass that guides us toward financial well-being. It's the secret sauce that transforms our daydreams into reality and our hard-earned cash into a personal treasure trove. It's not just about counting pennies but about making those pennies work for you. Now what if I told you there are five distinct areas in personal finance that you need to master to navigate this labyrinth successfully? Intrigued? You should be. These five areas are like the five fingers on your hand, each unique, yet all working together to grasp the reins of your financial future. So buckle up and prepare for a journey through the wild world of personal finance. First stop, income management, or as we like to call it, show me the money. Now earnings isn't just about working harder, it's about working smarter. It's like a game of chess, you've got to strategize, consider salary negotiations, remember your boss isn't a mind reader, you've got to advocate for yourself, make your case and show them why you're worth those extra zeros. And let's not forget about side hustles. In our digital age, opportunities to earn a little extra dough are all over the place. You could be a freelance graphic designer by day, a dog walker by lunch, and a dessert blogger by night. The world is your oyster, my friend, and it's filled with pearls of potential income. Investments are another way to bolster your earnings. Think of them as seeds. You plant them, nurture them, and in time, they'll grow into sturdy money trees. But remember, just like gardening, it requires patience and a little bit of knowledge. Now on to budgeting. Imagine your income is a pie. You wouldn't want eat it all in one go, right? You need to slice it up. A piece for rent, a piece for groceries, a piece for your weekend escapades. Budgeting is all about knowing how to cut your pie into pieces that satisfy your needs and wants without leaving you pieless. And of course, what's income management without some good old tracking? Knowing where your money comes from and where it goes is like having a map. It helps you navigate through your financial journey without getting lost in the wilderness of unexpected expenses and empty pockets. There are plenty of tools out there to help you track your income and expenses. From old school spreadsheets to savvy apps that link to your bank account, there's something for everyone. It's like having a personal financial assistant, only without the need to share your office snacks. Remember, a well-managed income is the first step towards a well-stuffed wallet. And hey, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Now let's dive into expense management, the art of not blowing your money on things you don't need. Ever wonder where all your money goes? One day you're sitting pretty, and the next, you're scratching your head, wondering how you ended up with only lint in your pockets. Well that's where expense management steps in, it's like a detective, helping you track down all your runaway dollars. You see, your expenses are like a family, you've got the big guys, the essentials, housing, transportation, utilities, and groceries. They're the ones you can't ignore without facing some serious consequences, like living in a cardboard box or eating cereal with a fork because you can't afford milk. Then you have the fun-loving cousins entertainment and discretionary spending. They're the life of the party but if you're not careful they'll party their way through your paycheck. And no, you don't need another designer bag. You already have four. So, how do you keep everyone in line? It's all about budgeting techniques, comparison shopping and prioritizing needs over wants. Budgeting is like your personal financial GPS. It helps you navigate your way through your spending ensuring you don't get lost in a sea of unnecessary purchases. And when it comes to shopping, don't just grab the first thing you see, be a comparison shopper. Look for deals, discounts, and cheaper alternatives. It's like a treasure hunt, only instead of finding a chest of gold, you're saving a heap of cash. Finally, learn to prioritize. It's about distinguishing between what you need and what you want. Sure, that coffee machine with the built-in frother is cool, but do you need it or can you make do with your old trusty drip machine? Remember, every dollar you save from your expenses is a dollar you can invest in your future. So, be smart, be savvy, and take control of your expenses. So the next time you're tempted to buy that fifth pair of shoes, remember, moderation is key. Moving on to the world of savings and investment, where your money does the hard work. Now let's dive into the realm of savings, where every penny you squirrel away is a step towards your financial goals. From the humble savings account, reliable as your favorite pair of jeans, to certificates of deposit, the financial equivalent of a slow cooker meal, low effort, but deliciously rewarding over time. And let's not forget high-yield savings accounts, the supercharged sports cars of the savings world, 
offering higher interest rates to turbocharge your savings growth. Now, onto the exciting world of investment. Picture this. Stocks are like a roller coaster ride, thrilling but with a few ups and downs. Bonds on the other hand are more like a scenic train journey, less adrenaline but a steadier, smoother ride. Mutual funds? They're the buffet of the investment world. A bit of everything offering diversification and balance. Real estate, that's like planting a tree. It may take time to bear fruit, but it can provide shade and sustenance for years. And then, there are retirement accounts like 401, Ks and IRAs, the tortoises of the investment race, slow and steady, but they'll get you to the finish line of a comfortable retirement. But remember, just like a good stew, investment needs time to simmer to bring out the best flavors. So, it's never too early to start. Whether you're a fresh-faced graduate or a seasoned professional, investing is a journey, and every step counts. And let's clear something up. Investing isn't a secret club for the rich and famous. It's for anyone with a dream of financial independence. With careful planning, a dash of patience, and a sprinkle of risk-taking, you too can see your money grow. So don your financial cap, and step into the world of savings and investments. Harness the power of compound interest, diversify your portfolio, and watch your finances flourish. Remember, investing is not just for the rich and famous. It's for everyone who dreams of a financially secure future. Next, we're tackling the beast known as debt management. Sounds scary? Don't worry, we've got your back. Now let's imagine debt as a huge, grumpy monster that's always on your heels. The more you ignore it, the bigger and scarier it gets. But here's the secret, it's not invincible. With the right strategies and a bit of discipline, you can tame the beast and show it who's boss. First off, it's crucial to manage debt responsibly. Think of it as a wild pet. You can't just let it run amok, or it'll cause havoc. Instead, you need to keep it on a tight leash. This means avoiding unnecessary debt and making timely payments to prevent high interest charges and financial stress. Remember, a small debt today can grow into a massive one tomorrow, so don't let it off the leash. Next, let's talk about tackling that debt. Picture yourself as a knight, gearing up to slay the debt dragon. Your first weapon? prioritizing high-interest debt. It's like aiming for the dragon's weak spot. Paying off high-interest debt first reduces the total amount you'll pay in the long run, making your battle a bit less daunting. Your second weapon is debt consolidation. It's like calling for reinforcements. By consolidating your loans, you combine all your debts into one, usually with a lower interest rate. This simplifies your payments and can potentially save you money. Lastly, don't forget to negotiate your repayment terms, it's like asking the dragon for a fair fight. Sometimes lenders are willing to modify the terms to make repayment easier, so don't hesitate to have that conversation. But the most important part of debt management? Establishing a debt repayment plan and sticking to it. This is your battle strategy. Without it, you're just swinging your sword blindly. So, map out your plan, follow it diligently, and watch as the debt dragon shrinks with every payment you make. So folks, don't let debt rule your life. Take charge and show it who's boss. Finally, we've reached the exciting realm of financial planning and goal setting. This is where your dreams take flight. Now don't just dream about buying that beach house or taking a world tour. Make it a smart goal. Yes, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Envision your goal in technicolor detail. How much will it cost? When do you want it? Make sure it's realistic, relevant to life, and set a deadline to keep you motivated. But here's the real kicker, folks. A comprehensive financial plan is your roadmap to these goals. It's like your personal GPS, guiding you through income management, expense control, saving, investing, and debt management. It's your financial life on a silver platter. Regularly review and tweak this plan as your life evolves. Income changes, expenses fluctuate, life happens. Be flexible but stay focused. So remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Start planning today and watch your financial dreams come true. If you found our video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to continue getting top-notch financial planning advice. Your to financial success starts here. Don't forget to join us on this journey.